another video welcome if you are new here thanks so much for tuning in for today's video as you can see today we're gonna to be spending some time with the horses and I'd like to call this a little horse makeover I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my horses I keep them clean and tidy just so that they can feel more comfortable during the hot summer slash fall months as you guys know here, we have stepped into fall, which is amazing. However, it is still quite hot here. And I just wanted to show you guys my routine of what I do with my horses on a very hot summer day. I love to give them a nice bath with some soap, undo their braids, give them a good brush. So we're gonna walk through that today. As you can see, I'm removing their fly sheets, which they have majority of the time. The flies do get pretty nasty here, nasty here during the summer fall season and so I like to keep them covered because fly spray just doesn't do it sometimes. We have to really be on it and unfortunately all the chemicals that are in fly spray I definitely think the fly sheets give them a great break from that. So as you can see I already removed Prince's fly sheet. I also undid his braided tail and now I'm going to remove Edward's fly sheet. Again, this is my first season using fly sheets. I only got my horses about two years ago now, so I'm still learning the ropes of what works for me. So I'm hoping that these fly sheets will last us till next season in 2024. However, I do love using these tail bags as well. So I will continue just removing these and undo their braids and, you know, give them a little extra scratchies. And then we will groom them. Now, when I'm going to give them a bath with soap, I just like to give them a nice deep groom before. And so I tend to do it in their common area so that they can eat and munch while I'm grooming them. I yeah, you're so white, little lead word. Prince is doing pretty good as well, maintaining a very nice weight. And as you guys know, he is very colic prone. So he is on 24 seven forage, just like my other horse. Our barn is only 24 seven forage. We don't do any grains or anything like that, just because I think it's the best way for them to be healthy naturally, just like they would in the wild. So now I'm going to be removing Edward's braids. Again, I go back and forth with braids. I think sometimes they're helpful to like not tangle up the hair as much, but they also keep the courses cooler under their fly sheet. However, I feel like sometimes the braids do more damage to their mane and tail. So I just kind of do it on and off every month just to help maintain them. As you can see, their manes are growing back and we're putting on weight. So we're going through a transfer transformation journey all together. So some extra love never hurts. And then 
like I said before, I wanted to groom them while they're eating, and it's really funny because they tend to follow me around everywhere, and I think it's super important to normalize grooming your horse while they're still eating, and that's just something that, I mean, growing up, I'm so used to taking the horses out and tacking them up or washing them, and they do have that extra acidic in their stomach, so I think it's so important to make sure that if you can feed your horse while you're grooming, you might as well do that. So we're going to go get the grooming box. That's in my little tack room. If you guys didn't see my DIY tack room, I'll definitely link it above. This is my little grooming box and there's a lot of different goodies inside. So we're just going to use this and my main goal, like I said before, is just to give them a deep gr groom with the curry comb hard brush um, is not necessary because I'm going to be washing them so I just do a nice curry comb. I do like to brush their mane and tail as well and also pick out their feet. I can't recommend it enough to make sure that you pick out your horse's feet. You never know what can get stuck in there and it's just so important and it will save you a lot of troubles in the future. So whenever you get a chance to give them a nice brush and groom out all that extra dirt as well as pick their feet, I definitely recommend to do so. So Let's go ahead and finish grooming them and then we'll give them a bath. brought them out together and they've been really good about me handling them together. I definitely like to do this for practice as well because you never know when life can happen and I definitely think it's good to be able to handle them both together which again they do really great and I have no problem doing it but um, sometimes it can be a bit of a handful so I recommend being very cautious if you have more than one horse handling to them together you know there can always be double the trouble. So I'm tying them up. Um, I think they really enjoy when I wash them together because it's like they get to enjoy the experience and I just think it's so special that they have one another. So as you can see, I'm going to rinse my horses off and it's a nice hot day so I made sure that all the hot water ran out of the hose and I start with my horse's legs just so they can get like adjusted to the temperature and then I rinse them off. They're a little head shy sometimes when it comes to water, but as you can see, Edward is handling it very well, and so does Prince, and so I'm very proud of them how far they have come. I think it's important that they just get a nice refresh all over. I don't put soap on their face, however, like I said before, I think it's just so important to like, you know, get all the dirt out and just make sure that they feel a little bit more comfortable on these hot summer slash fall days. So 
I think we're stepping into fall at any moment here, but again, it's hard for me to say fall when it feels like summer. So like I said before, I'm rinsing everything off and then I'll of course rinse prints and then I'm going to show you guys in a moment here how I use the soap. I think it's so great to be able to use like a concentrated soap on their mane and tail just because it gets very dirty over there. And then I use a less concentrated soap on their body with a body brush and I think sponges are great but the brush really like gets it in everywhere and the soap really helps like for them to feel less itchy because they definitely feel a little bit more itchy when it comes to summertime. So we'll dilute that and then we'll give them a little scrub. important that their natural oils are able to spread and keep their skin moist however you know I definitely think with in combination of sweat and dirt and all of that it is really refreshing for them to get a bath because they have their fly sheets on all the time so I just think this is something that you can decide I definitely drop in the comments if you have like a regular routine with your horse but for me I just think two days a month is probably good However, when we do exercise, I do make sure to rinse them. If they have some, you know, good amount of sweat on them, I would definitely rinse them off and it helps cool them down as well. However, when it comes to like just like a sweat mark from a saddle pad or, you know, anything like that, I don't really rinse them just because I know how much they love to roll. And if you have experience with horses in the equine world, you know it's like a 90% chance your horse is going to roll after you wash them. So that's actually a key tip later in this video you'll see. I let them graze until they dry and then I put their fly sheet and then let them in their paddock area. And I think like having that system on the barn is so much easier because it hurts way less than when you see them rolling when they're wet. So I definitely recommend doing that. I also use the brush to just brush the soap through their uh, tail, which also is very helpful because you can waste a lot of soap using it on the tail. And it's always so important when working with soap on horse's skin to make sure you rinse everything off. So let's go ahead and finish scrubbing down these ponies and then we'll give them a nice rinse. Thank 
Another strange thing that I do do is I rinse out their mouths when I rinse off their body just because sometimes the hay can get stuck in places and the hay here is just not like it is in America but what can you do you get what you get and you have to work with what you got so I definitely think it's just a great way my vet said just to rinse their mouths you know when you give them a bath or something I do also do it sometimes after a ride just to like clear anything out if anything's stuck in there. I mean, could you only imagine what it would feel like if you had something stuck in your mouth as well? So I'm just rinsing them off. As you can see, it's super important with their tail to make sure you see a clear liquid coming off your horse, that there's no bubbles, no soap, and you'll really be able to tell when there's the soap is completely rinsed off. I also notice on Prince's little white socks, the flies tend to leave little black dots. So I extra scrub and rinse that area. And again, you guys, I think it's something just really great to be able to learn about caring for a horse. I'll never forget the day when I got my first horse. It was so life changing. And don't get me wrong, when you get a second one, it can be a bit of a handful. So just keep in mind when, you know, thinking about getting a horse or maybe you have one just remember not only to appreciate the moment but remember that it comes with so much responsibility and it's just it's such a joy to be able to take care of such big awesome beautiful animals but at the same time it can be a lot of responsibility so you can see I'm using the squeegee this is also another important factor you can use your hand if you like but this is a great way to remove all the excess water this is also going to help your horse regulate its body temperature if you want to cool down a horse, you do want to run water on them consistently. However, if you don't use a squeegee after, it actually can trap in the heat a lot. So I highly recommend to make sure that you guys are doing this. This is just a great way to, like I said before, help them dry off, but also release that extra heat in between their skin fur area to the water that's on there. So I'm going to finish doing this and then we'll give the horses a little graze. I don't know why Prince got so pissed at Edward here, but he just, you know, felt like being a bit sassy, which happens, you know, there's a reason why he's named Prince. So that happens every once in a while, but Edward is just such a little sweetheart. He doesn't really get phased by it and he really learns to give Prince his space when he needs it. So I also know Prince is sensitive in that area because of you know, he used to get spurred a lot when he was a dressage horse. So, yeah, that's just an important part to remember that they're sensitive animals. They can feel everything and anything. And I think, you know, he's really learning to enjoy his life and be less sensitive to those things. But it's something to be aware of when working with your horses. Sometimes I really feel that if your horse is showing any kind of, 
not normal behavior when you're riding them or tacking them up or just in the paddock. I definitely think it means something and you know it's not a bad horse or a angry horse. They're trying to express something to you. So just be extra hyper aware if your horse is trying to signal something to, to you. And yeah, I'm just a huge advocate for giving more. <laughs> cream on his little itchy areas and that's hopefully going to help soothe it and help keep the bugs off. I also think maybe it, it could be the flies as well. He's very sensitive in the summertime here so I just think it's so important to make sure that we take care of that before the issue gets worse and I also make sure to keep on his fly mask. I love their fly masks. They're amazing. They have like this extended part for their eyes so that it's more protected but you don't have to worry about their eyes having irritation from the fly mask which is so important to pay attention to so we're gonna put some extra cream on his little boo-boos over here and then um, of course they get treats because they've been such good boys and we'll go ahead and get them ready to put them back in the paddock area and like I said before we will let them graze but for me it's super important to let them graze about maybe 10, 15 minutes since they're not in a full range pasture. I have to be very careful that they don't, you know, overeat the grass because it can be very nutrient dense and clog their stomach because they're just not used to digesting it. And if you didn't know, now you know, horses cannot throw up. They can only digest what they eat. So it's so important to give them an extra good balance that they don't get impactation colic, which that's what my horse prince is very prone to. So we'll go ahead and finish putting these creams on and get them ready to be free.
whistle you got, beep beep. So there you have it. This is how I give my horse a makeover, wash all my horses, or just how to wash a horse. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed. We appreciate you so much, and we'll see you on the next video.